so I've been using this a little while now and well what do I think of it I've never really spent much time with this receiver um, it's actually got surprisingly <laughs> good audio maybe not so apparent on SSB but the sensitivity on the lower bands seems to be pretty good too we just put that back into AM mode the knob here is it's it's one of the best tuning knobs on a receiver I've seen in a very long time um, you can spin it there's no drag on it and it actually allows you to change frequency very quickly in fact sometimes you can sort of overshoot the mark with it but once you get used to it it's pretty good and you can see you're on long wave it's fairly sensitive it's not a lot of facilities with this receiver you do have memories if we press the RCL button there you'll see on the display there's a little dot and that changes as you scroll through each memory so like so so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve memories I think to get into the memory channel so you scroll through using the tuning knob after pressing the recall button here and to get through the to the actual memory then we press recall again and we can actually now tune through the band over the brother stair there okay so if nothing else at least the uh, memories uh, allow you to get to different parts of the band quite quickly so you could set a memory on each one of the bands you were interested in and you could scan through that way um, other than that you can actually just spin the dial and you can see how quickly we've gone from top band 1.9 megahertz down to long wave okay so and as I said earlier we've got the modes you've got AM we've got upper sideband and lower sideband and that's pretty much it um, I find I don't think this receiver is as sensitive as most of my other receivers certainly not once you get up above about 3 megs um, there is also a little bit of a, a hiss uh, constantly in the background I don't know whether it will come across on the uh, video here let's see if we can find uh, something on the 75 meter broadcast band a little bit of interference there so maybe not the best to do it with it's not actually too apparent there but there is a, an underlying hiss on, on receive I find with this this particular radio um, but I've been very impressed with its sensitivity in uh, medium wave long wave and around top band and uh, here on uh, 75 meters broadcast and I think 80 meters armature band to just have a quick tune through seems pretty sensitive the display on SSB is about 2 kilohertz out that's not uncommon I know the FRG 7700 I had years ago had a similar issue and um, to tune some stations on sideband um, if you can't tune them in with the steps on the tuning knob here you have to use the clarifier which does change the frequency but you'll see any change of frequency on the clarifier isn't reflected on the display so let's see if I can so you can see the display doesn't move even though we're probably moving a kilohertz or maybe two on the clarify it doesn't move the display so maybe that's a little bit of an issue but it's a, it's a basic receiver this is pretty good and um, in its day 
it was priced very competitively um, certainly when it first came onto the market which was around 1996 it was one of the cheaper uh, tabletop communications receivers 